What's poppin'? It's Mello back at you with another video. Today, what we gonna be getting into, we gonna be working with the FL Studio Mobile. Let's get into it. Today I'm gonna give you the most comprehensive FL Studio Mobile tutorial that you've ever seen. So, let's get into it. We gonna drop some gems. So, what you wanna do or what we're gonna start with, we're gonna open up a brand new session. So, you are going to click New. You are going to click Empty. Now you could put the song name. We're just going to leave it alone. We're going to press OK. So you get this blank slate, clean blank slate. We're going to start from the top. So when you click the Fruity Loops icon, you have a bunch of options. It'll show you projects, songs, all that stuff, settings. You can even go to the shop and get, you know, different sounds. They got a bunch of free sounds. And that's what you're looking at there. We'll get into more detail with that throughout the tutorial. When you click that arrow in the middle right, that's going to bring the mixer channels. Basically, we'll get into that as well. And when you click that arrow in the lower right hand corner, that is going to bring up this bottom bar that we have. We're going to go through it left to right. So boom, those lines on the left, when you click that icon, it'll bring up all the mixer tracks. You can level them with the volume, et cetera, et cetera. When you click this right here, you can set the scale. Now you have the record, the reverse button, the play button. The main thing that we're concerned about with this is the tempo. If you click the tempo, you can add 10, you can minus 10, plus one, all that good stuff. If you press the M, you can turn on the metronome. You can tap in the tempo. Then you got the memory right there. It shows you how good you're running on your phone or tablet. We're going to X that out. Also up here, you have the play icon with the bar. And that is going to be, you know, tracking where it's playing and all things like that. So let's get into the basics of getting it started with making a beat. You're going to click the plus. It's going to bring up a bunch of different options. Now from the channel options, the main three that I'm concerned with in most cases is the drums. The drums are going to be, we're going to get into that at the end. Instruments, that is going to bring up all the instruments that you have available that come with the program and stuff like that. Audio clip lets you put obviously an audio clip etc etc on the right hand side they have a bunch of different plugins as far as the synth category the dw sampler we're going to be using a lot i'm going to show you some gems about that the slicer you can slice up samples and stuff like that everything else is a synthesizer with controllable parameters and you can make your own sense and stuff like that if you choose to do that so what we're going to do just to show you some instruments you're going to click instrument and you can scroll down you'll see you know a lot of instruments you could get, but you'll see a lot of folders. Click an instrument one time. If you press to the far right of what you have highlighted, it's gonna play a high note. If you press the far left, it's gonna play lower notes. So anywhere you press within what you have highlighted as far as the instrument, is gonna play how it sounds in that range. So we're going to X this out. An instrument is selected. Now, before we get to the piano roll, I want to show you some more things about the instrument. Now, that arrow on the right, you click that and it's going to bring out the instrument. Now, the instrument is going to have with especially with all the synth instruments, a bunch of different stuff that you can control from the pitch and all these other knobs and tabs and things like that. So you can mess with that if you want. If you want to get another preset from the plug in that you selected. You could click that right there where it says brass two, and just scroll through, go back, et cetera, et cetera. But being that from the instrument panel, you picked something that's in the three X oscillator. It's only going to show you three X oscillator instruments from there. If you click the three lines, you have the option to delete and do a bunch of stuff, but we'll click replace. And then from there, it'll give you a bunch of different options and et cetera. Now, if you click, this add module at the bottom, it'll give you the same options, but that'll let you add on effects to what you have. For example, if we go to chorus, we now have a chorus on this and so we could mess with the parameters. And if we push where default is, then you have a bunch of settings and stuff like that. Now let's talk about the piano roll. Anywhere you press a note is gonna go. If you drag the note up and down, you can obviously see it's going to play the notes and stuff like that. What we're going to do, we're going to lock in a scale. 
I click the piano at chromatic. I'm going to pick minor natural aeolian. C is selected. With that, all the gray notes are going to be notes outside of the scale. You want to avoid those gray notes. Now, when you get past that, let's talk about note control. When you press and hold a note, it's going to give you a bunch of options. That ball on the right side, you can drag it to lengthen and shorten the notes. Another thing that you can do is when you highlight it and it gives you that options, you can click more. It'll bring up a bunch of options. You can push snap to scale, whatever, whatever. But you can also set the note length and you can transpose. You can also transpose by, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it gives you those options. Now, one thing I want to talk about very quickly is the magnet at the top. If you press the magnet just with a tap, it's going to let you slide the note off grid, however you want to slide it. Now, if you press it back, it's going to come back on. But if you press and hold it, you then get a bunch of different timing options. We're going to go over that a bit deeper when it comes to the hi-hats. But for now, you just want to keep it on auto. What if I want to change the velocity on these notes? Well, there's a ball that you might not see in the lower left hand corner is kind of going over that note. You click that is going to bring up the velocity in the pan. So right now I have the velocity selected. I can select the pan as well, but we're going to stay on velocity. Now, if you just press it, you can raise up and down. It's going to control all the notes. But let's say you want to get dynamic with it. And you want to control different notes and stuff like that. I'm going to press one of the notes, but I'm going to slide while the note is selected. We're going to get to some secret sauce right now. Before we do that, before we get too deep into it, I'm going to show you how to put better sounds into this that you get from the producer community, people like me and etc. So that you can make really good beats with sounds that are very compatible with what we like to do. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is import sounds. Now, what you want to do is click that FL Studio icon in the upper right hand corner. You're going to click import. It's going to take you to some folders. I'm on my iPhone. Now, once you get in there, you want to find a zip file of the kit that you want. Now, I'm going to give you a quick tip on iPhone. If you don't have if you have the kit in a raw folder and stuff like that, what you're going to do, you're just going to press and hold you know, when you go into the file manager and stuff like that, you'll press and hold it and say compress and it's going to compress it into a zip file. So that's something built into the iPhone. But you want to find the zip file. You're going to select one zip file. It's going to give you the option to select multiple. You don't want to select multiple. So select one zip file. We have the combustion three selected here. We're going to click open. It's going to say import 305 files. I'm going to say yes. It's an archiving. It's going to put all the drum sounds into the app. I'm going to ask you if you want to delete the archive. I just click delete, but the archive is still going to be there. It's not going to delete. So now that we've done that, that is how you are going to import your drum sounds and your one shots. Now, this is the clutch part that I want to introduce you to. We're going to. Click the three sandwich bars. We're going to get rid of this course first, so we're going to delete that. We're going to click the three bars. We're going to click replace. We're going to click DW sampler where it says default. We're going to click that. We're going to go to my files and all my one shots and things like that. Anything I import is going to be in my samples. So right here, I have the Mellow DB so Omega one shot kit. I'm going to click any instrument that I want out of this. We'll go to. Now, one thing I want you to know as well, as far as the play button, you can press it up there. But if you press that top bar where you see the two at and stuff like that and all the lines, it'll automatically stop it. Just like in FL Studio. You want to control the envelope of the sampler and stuff like that. So I'm going to push the release out. I can lower the pitch if I want to. I'll lower it 12. And we're good money. So this is the other thing that I want to inform you about very quickly. Right there where it says loop, click that. Click that. It'll save you 
so much. It'll get rid of the headache. You won't have to worry about a lot of this stuff as far as the sound repeating and all types of weird stuff. With that, you could do LFO. You could do all types of stuff. But there you have it. That pretty much gives you the sauce as far as using one shots. And that's going to take everything to a new level. Now, you may wonder, like, well, aren't there VSTs or plugins or something? There's got to be something external you can use for sounds as far as like some type of VST or something. You're right. There's something you can use. So I'm going to click the add module and I'm going to click audio bus AII. Now, once I click the audio bus, I have a free synthesizer on my phone. You can get it on iPhone called Synth One. I'm going to click that. And it's connecting. It's going to take me into the program. Now, this program has all types of sounds. You could click there, and they got so many high quality free scents and stuff like that. It, it, it's very good. And you can make your own presets if you are a sound design guy. Once I go back in here, boom, and I have my instrument selected. Now we get that high quality goodness within FL Studio Mobile. This is the issue about it, though. Let's say I just want to go crazy. Let's just say I want to go crazy and make a bunch of these that let's say let's say I say, you know what? This plug in is so good. I want to use it again. I want to use it again. You can't use it again. You can only use it one time per session. So that's that's what you got to deal with as far as that. So now that we've done all that, let's talk about drums. We're going to go here and we're going to click drums. Now from here, they have a bunch of different drum sets and stuff like that. You can check all of them out. You could click them. They'll bring up a bunch of sounds. What we're going to do is click the X. What we're going to do is press and hold where the pink is and let go. And then we're going to click low sample. We're going to go to my files. We're going to go to my samples. We're going to select the hi-hat. All you have to do is exit out. You can press all this in, you know. But let's say you just want to keep it basic. What you can do is press and hold this again, and we're going to do fill these two steps. Let's say you want to do that for much longer. What you're going to do, just start clicking notes in. Go all the way to bar four. Now do the same thing. Fill each two steps. Now you got a whole four bars of each two steps. Now what you could do, you could add more drums to this pattern, but this is the thing about that. What I like to be able to do is take away one piece at a time. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to X this out. And now we have the drums laid out. We are going to add another one. We're going to And now we have a clap. So now the last thing I'm going to do is add an 808. So what we're going to do instead of using the drums, what we're going to do is use the DW sampler because again, we have to put in different notes through the piano roll. So I'm going to click the plus. We're going to add DW sampler. And that's the basic gist of how you're going to do the drums. I want to touch on one thing very quickly as far as hi-hats. You could try and load up the same hi-hat or a different hi-hat, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to program in the roll. So I'm going to select this, you know, what we talked about earlier, press and hold. I'm going to go to one, three step. What I'm going to do, we could go to C4 because that's where the actual tone is. We're going to bring this down one sixteenth, and then just put it right there now this is the thing about this it's not going to show you the grid like it does on fl studio on a computer so you just drag one space from where you started at and then just press in and just press in and it's going to give you the timing now what i'm going to do is delete that's where the hi-hat is already hitting and listen to it now And that's how you're going to do a hi-hat roll. So I'm going to break down arrangement very simple. You're going to have things set to the length that you want them set to. You can highlight one of these, press and hold it, drag it out. It's going to endlessly loop. So that's one feature. 
the other thing that you can do, press and hold and copy and paste. And then slide in. You could do that. Now, one thing I want you to know is that these patterns, as far as these melodies and things of that nature, if you drag it down to another pattern, as far as like the hi-hats, it's going to put that melody on a hi-hat. You know, so you just want to make sure you keep the melodies on the tracks that they're supposed to be on. Another thing that you can do for a pattern like this, you can drag the play bar wherever you want it as far as that. You can press the clip that you want to slice, go to more and then click slice. It'll slice it right there. So if you want to do something like just delete that right there, you could do that. Now, let's say we want to bulk copy and paste the whole part. What you're going to do is press and hold. You drag it over as much as you could drag it over. It's going to bring up the stuff. You press copy. You go to the empty space. You press paste. You then slide it in. Boom. Now we have the whole arrangement. So those are the basics as far as arranging. One thing I do want to touch on as far as the piano roll, you can also press and highlight things. But if you just want to select all, you can press and highlight one thing, go to more and then press select all. And that'll give you the option to select all that makes it easy to copy big, large melodies that you've made and stuff like that. Just to give you a few ways that I use it personally, because we're pretty much done with the tutorial. I'm going to go into this. Boom. What I do, sometimes I make midis as far as melodies or chord progressions. And I do that, you know, while I'm out at the park, out at the beach, whatever. What you can do. Is export. So when you click save, it's going to give you a bunch of options. What you can do is go and save it as a MIDI. You can save it as a FLM, FL Studio Mobile Song. You can save it as Wave, all that stuff. But guess what? You can also just send it. You don't even have to save it to the phone. So what I do is I click MIDI, I click send. Then after that, I send it to my email. It's such a small file, but with that, I can stock up on midis and make melodies at different times. And then when I get to the computer, I could just blast them in there. That's how I used to use it and stuff like that. But you can also save the MP3s and things of that nature. I hope you get a lot of value out of this. And the one thing I want you to know is it, the workflow takes a little bit longer and you're not able to use as many VSTs as you have, but if you are a beginner and you don't want to pay the 99 to get FL Studio, this is a cool alternative to get your feet wet. If you are an experienced producer and you just want to make some midis and things like that, send them to your email. That's how I started off as cool. But if you actually want to make stuff that sounds good, it is 100% possible to do that with this. You can still make bangers with this that's a that is a fact it's not it's not something you could dispute it's a fact so with that being said let me know what you think in the comments let me know what you want to see next i'm out